28 seconds. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Mars 2020. Eight, seven, five, zero. Release. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And passing one minute into flight, the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. At this time in flight, the SRB chamber pressures remain nominal. The RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are responding well to demands on the engine. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRBs. Burnout pressure signatures look good. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. And we have a good indication of SRB jettison of all four SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are responding nominally at this time. And coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, uh, the RD-180 has throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response continues to look good. At this time, the vehicle is uh, 50 miles in altitude, uh, 85 miles downrange, traveling at 6,000 miles per hour. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight levels. Cape winds, Denver winds, MetNet. And just past three minutes into flight, the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit for payload fairing jettison. Engine response and vehicle acceleration look good. Denver Wins, this is we have good indication on the of payload fairing jettison and yeah, Centaur forward, forward, like forward load reactor deck jettison. And processed LR6 and LR7 to max altitude, and you may. And the RD180 is throttled back, is time. throttling back up to attain a 4.6G acceleration. Uh, engine response continues to look good. And Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL10 for operation. Copy that. Standing by for Beco shortly. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage separation.
and we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. And we have MES-1. Uh, RL-10 operating parameters look good. Uh, <clears throat> chamber pressures are stable. This will be the first of two burns for today's mission. Uh, this first burn will pro be approximately seven minutes in length. And we have seen the Centaur PU system go to closed loop control. Uh, engine response remains nominal, still seeing uh, stable and nominal chamber pressures. And we are beginning to see uh, the RCS system uh, begin periodic thermal firings to maintain conditions in the loop. And the loop and bottle temperatures are beginning to converge on nominal temperatures. And initial data review of boost flight indicates uh, uh, slightly above nominal performance of the Atlas V booster. At this time, the vehicle is 140 miles in altitude, uh, 900 miles downrange, uh, traveling at 14,500 miles per hour. And we did see a minor interruption to telemetry there as we switch to a TDRS compatible data format. Overall telemetry quality is uh, very good. Coming up on eight minutes into flight, uh, beginning to see the Centaur PU system balance out uh, mass errors, um, seeing very stable body rates in the Centaur. Um,
coming up on 10 minutes into flight. Uh, we have seen the PU actuator come off of the LOX, the LOX rich stop as expected and still seeing uh, stable and nominal operating parameters on the RL10. There is approximately one minute remaining in the first Centaur burn. And we've had IIP vanish, so Centaur is now orbital. And we've had uh, Miko 1. Engine cutoff pressure signatures look good. Uh, Centaur will c coast for approximately 30 minutes prior to the next burn. RCS is now commanding 100% settling to settle propellants in the tanks. And Centaur is now adjusting its attitude for PTC roll. Uh, body rates and RCS performance look good at this time. At this time, Centaur is uh, 2,400 miles downrange, traveling at 17,300 miles per hour. And as we pass 13 minutes into flight, the RCS system temperatures have converged to nominal values. The Centaur tank pressures remain at stable and expected values, and uh, still seeing good overall performance from the RCS system. <laughs> 